Welcome to this episode, where I turn water from this stagnant mud hole into crystal clear drinking water. And I did it using a camping pot, a small container, and some string. In a survival situation, locating water is definitely a priority. But what if the only source of water that can be found is contaminated? Boiling water for a couple minutes or using a little bit of iodine is often enough to make water drinkable. But sometimes these methods aren't enough. That's because boiling and iodine only kills organic threats, otherwise known as bacteria, but they cannot remove harmful inorganic material, such as toxic metals and minerals, salt, and general sediment. So things like ocean water and this mud hole can't be made drinkable by boiling or using iodine. So as a challenge to myself, I decided to see if there was a way that I could make this puddle of muddy water drinkable, but only using materials that I might have on me in a survival situation. I decided to distill the water. Distillation is the process where water is steamed and condensed. In this case, I will be capturing steam from the dirty water and collecting it as purified water in another container. Distillation is a proven method for removing both organic and inorganic elements from the water. Anything organic is killed when the water comes to a boil, and all the inorganic particles are left behind when the water rises as steam. The trick is capturing the steam and condensing it into purified water for collection, but I'll get to that in a moment. I allowed the muddy water to come to a full boil for a few minutes. This is because if the water is contaminated with any volatiles, such as herbicides, pesticides, or other types of chemicals, it will rise off in the first bit of steam. The idea behind this is that volatiles have a lower boiling point than water, which is why they will rise off first, if they are present. But I figured it was better to be safe than sorry. When the water had steamed for a few minutes, it was time to start collecting the steam. I took the lid off the pot and turned it upside down. I also used some twine to suspend a small container from the underside of the lid. I then carefully placed the upside down lid onto the pot. When the hot steam came into contact with the cool underside of the lid, it immediately started to condense into water droplets. These water droplets are pure drinking water, free from all hazardous materials. The droplets ran down the underside of the lid and dripped into the suspended container. As the steam began to warm the lid up, the water began to condense more slowly, which is why I had to do my best to keep the lid as cool as possible. The colder the lid, the faster the water will condense. My best option was to add some of the cool water from the mud hole to the top of the lid. I would have preferred using snow or ice, but obviously there wasn't any available at the time. When the water on top became warm, I would swipe it off the top and add some more cold water. After emptying my first batch of condensed water into a jar, I allowed the lid to cool off for a few minutes before putting it back over the pot. I also took the opportunity to add some more muddy water to the pot. Again, I allowed the water to condense and collect in the suspended container until the lid became too hot to condense any more water. I would then remove the lid, pour the fresh water into my jar, and let it cool once again. I repeated this process about five or six times before I had enough fresh water to take the edge off my thirst. I believe I collected around 150 milliliters. I strained the water through my t-shirt and then came the moment of truth. Although I knew the water was clean, I hesitated to drink it. All I could think about was the fact that this water originally came from a dirty mud puddle, but in the interest of science, I drank it. 
I was expecting the water to taste a little swampy, but I was surprised at how clean it tasted. Maybe relieved is a better word. The water did have a slight smoky taste, but that is only because it was condensed over a fire. Overall, I was very happy with my experiment, and I feel like I've passed the challenge. If I'm ever caught in a scenario where my only source of water is contaminated, and assuming I only have minimal equipment on me, I now feel confident that I can make the water drinkable. Having this knowledge definitely increases my chances for survival, especially if I'm caught in this particular situation. But although there are definitely some pros to drinking condensed water in a desperate survival situation, there are also some major drawbacks to this method as well. First of all, although drinking distilled water in a survival situation is a good idea, it's not a good idea to drink distilled water for more than a few weeks at a time. That's because although distillation removes all the bad stuff from water, it also removes all the good stuff too. Normal drinking water contains healthy minerals and low levels of sodium, which the body needs. Distilled water has absolutely no salt or minerals. So drinking distilled water definitely shouldn't be common practice. Second, my method of making distilled water is highly inefficient. There are countless ways that are easier and more efficient to make distilled water, but I chose this method because it required as little equipment as possible to make it happen. And since I'm talking survival, the less material needed to do a job, the better. But all that being said, this method of distilling water uses a lot of firewood and a lot of time for a very small amount of water. I wonder how much water I had to sweat before I made my 150 milliliters of drinking water. I might be discouraged to find out. This is why I've decided that this method for distilling water, although creative, should only be used as an absolute last resort. To be honest, if I were desperate enough for water, I would probably drink it straight from the mud puddle if I had no other choice. However, I'm still happy with the results of my challenge. The way I see it, nothing ventured, nothing gained.